right, check framing. Exposed. All right, one trick, just take your phone if you have no flip screen. One way to check exposure is the hand thing. I showed that on the other video. Another trick that I'll do is I'll just turn my phone off, like I'll have the screen locked, and then it's almost reflective enough to be able to see your settings and stuff like that. So that's another trick that I've learned while starting this vlog. I'm only 10 episodes in. I'm super hyped right now. If you can't tell, I just got out of work. It's 4.30, it's 70 degrees outside. If you don't know, North Carolina is super hot from like July to September-ish, mid-September, roughly, give or take a couple weeks. It's usually like 95 degrees, 100% humidity, but you don't have snow. So I'll take the heat for two months over three months of snow and having to shovel and drive and skid out and black ice and this. I'm gonna let the plane pass. Okay, it's gone. If you can't tell, I'm just super hyped. I love this weather. It makes me super happy. It's just about hoodie season, so you'll start seeing me in a Be Yourself hoodie 24 seven. That was kind of awkward. Coworkers just left and nobody here really knows that I do this vlog and it was just like not the way I wanted to introduce this whole thing to them. Anyway, oh man, I forgot where I was at, but I'm super hyped. Let's talk about the weather, the hoodie, hoodie season, no snow. I'm not really sure. I'm headed down to my family's house in Holly Springs. Uh, my mom and brother are still here. 70 degrees out, 72 degrees out to be exact. I'm driving with the windows down. Also, this Apple event, oh my God. All right, this is what we call adapting to what we got. All right, I'm sitting in the back of my truck, fairly certain there's a crazy sun flare on this clip. I'll try to not have it super blown out. Uh, the one thing that I wanted to talk about that also got me hyped today was the Apple event. Technically, you're watching this on Wednesday. The Apple event took place on Tuesday at 1 p.m. and they released two new pieces of gear, the iPad Air and the Apple Watch Series 6. Now, I've never been much of like a gear tech person, probably because I've just never really had the money to be able to afford a bunch of new stuff. I usually just either work older models or just work with what I got. I was always a year or two behind when the 5 was out. I think I had the 3GS and they came out with the and I had the 4S. So I've always just kind of been behind on that kind of stuff. But the one thing that I really want to pre-order, and I've never pre-ordered anything in my life, the one thing I really want to pre-order is that iPad Air. Um, I've been wanting a Pro for a while and I thought about it because more recently I've been taking more like little weekend trips out of town and stuff like that. And having my MacBook just doesn't really like help me that much when it comes to editing, especially when I have to upload something at a certain time, like uh, I'm on the road and I have to upload something at 3 p.m. and now I'm stuck on the road. I have to pull off to a McDonald's, be annoyed by all the people ordering the Travis Scott burger. Why does Travis Scott partner with McDonald's? That's that's the weirdest. I don't get it. Just the whole event today was like so inspiring. Just to watch the cinematography and the transitions of the actual event. And then just to see the way that the new tech has come to life. They now have an O2 sensor in the watch. So you can not only take your heart rate, do an EKG, but you can check oxygen levels. So if you are a tech or a gear person and you haven't watched the Apple event or you don't watch the Apple events or any of these events where they like announce new gear and stuff, I would definitely suggest doing so because it's like incredible to watch. Okay, gotta go. Family just showed up. Thank you.